This is GA Center, your look into the Grand Arena Championship matches of over 60 of the world's best content creators. Here are your hosts, the Nev from the Escape Podcast and Ranger from Reality Skewed Gamers. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of GA Center. It is our mid-season point. We are halfway through the season, so uh, it's going to be there. There's there's some interesting twists and turns in the tables. So uh, yeah, uh, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. The number of people gone undefeated has been whittled down to just five competitors. So uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, so let's let's get uh, let's get right into it. Uh, Yay. All right. Let's kick this pig into gear. We start off with the metalhead himself, breaking the law, breaking the law. Andy Beads, who got broke himself by the law, who was one and two, uh, finished 0-9-3 oh, for the year, so for, the, for this 5v5 season. Uh, he said, round one was a loss. He lost by a lie. He says, opponent full cleared me, and I was unable to defeat their thick relic padme why should you be thick mm. why can't she just be muscular uh round two was a loss again this is a punt full cleared my defense and placed a very good defense i'm looking for this was a was a padme involved uh no it was darth revan and friends so the 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 legion of, D of boom got him mm. and then round three was a win he got uh it says opponent was an open to full clear having trouble with his night sisters and he was able to get the fc and just made kyber by the skin of his that. teeth Life is Kyber. Kyber's life. Doesn't matter if you get there by a little by a lot, you Kyber. So there you go. So it's crappy week four after a solar start, but nice to finish with Kyber. So there you go. Andy Beads in the house. Come on, Cody. We're the two and one. So not having a good time, unfortunately. One of the people that usually goes three and oh quite regularly. He's had a couple of two and ones. Infinite will be pleased to see that. And uh, I'm sure he'll take advantage. All right, move it on to infinitum, infinitum, and, and beyond. beyond. You have to send it like you're in the galaxy. So three and oh, 12 and oh overall. Says so common thing was people not knowing how to counter SLKR, while I saved most of the other stuff for offense. And five and five, this just went with the flow. But three v three is next. Uh, and really looking at this, yeah. All three had problems with SLKR. <laughs> what a surprise. surprise. <laughs> uh, he said, round three, though, my opponent actually had beat the Galactic Legend owner in this bracket, which I was surprised with, so I was careful with this one. I did my best with banners of the week and top it off with my both SLKR and GG holding. And, yeah, that's the thing with Infinim. He has got the, he's got the power. He's wielding the power. But 3-0, undefeated 5-5 for the Infinim in the room. Stone coming in with a triple this week to maintain his unbeaten run. Round one had to triple tap a GG, but the full clear was still achieved while his opponent was stuck on Night Sisters. Round two, a glorious flawless victory. And round three was another flawless victory with a tight finish, winning only by four banners for his triple whammy. 600k lifetime and a top 100 Kaiba finish hit this month. Very nice. Next, we go on to my favorite German, Renard the Fox. He, we, we, are. Not, we are going to do German accents because we do not believe in the king shaming. No, we don't. And, no, and I shall, I shall read for, for your pleasure his stats. Are you ready? You read for it. Read yes. for the pleasure. I shall do it for your pleasure. All right, for Renard the Fox, two and one said hardcore finishing season with three of the toughest opponents I've ever played in GAC. Says round, opponent, round one opponent I attacked by coincidence at the same time. Coinky dink, I don't know. Says I had to triple shot his parry team, but managed to pass and secure the win. Opponent couldn't clear the lower the, the lower rear entirely, so there we go. And he's had a nice shot afterwards, so there you go. Round two, he says against an alliance guildmate, reached out to him, but couldn't match up at the same time. Both full clear, but he struggled a few times, so efficiency so what it comes down to and says round three opponent has super badass sith empire team all max rel and blazing fast i can only take two five territories while opponent took three and yeah 
and it just didn't work over them. So still two and one. So this is overall week with a lot of challenges, and this is where the fun begins. But no happy end in the third match, unfortunately. First loss after a very long time. Usually, Renardi had to pay triple for the happy ending. So there you go. And there's Division Three, and Stone is the only undefeated competitor. This, this is this. The length of this season is definitely playing to his uh, to his advantage, because in season one, which was six mm -hmm. months long, this was the way that he was going. He had a really, really strong start, got all the way to the middle of the season, and then the second half of the season, it just tapered off. So, we, if he can hold this for a couple more months, we will be crowning a new Division Three champion. He's gonna have to because he can't mess up at all. Bernard's right there, and yeah. Infinite Man had a strong fives, undefeated, yeah. really, really, cool. really strong fives. And Commander Cody just kind of dropped away a little bit there in in the five v five. So uh, yeah. way too many two and ones. Yeah, it, it didn't happen, you know. Um, but we'll see what happened. And then Andy, you know, still a winning record. Much respect. On to Division Two, Vendetta three and O Triple Crown. Round one, Vendetta's opponent was a party pooper as they set a really tough defense that Vendetta cleared for a flawless victory, but then his opponent didn't even show up to play. I mean, what a party pooper. Round two, lesson number one against Vendetta. Don't put trash on the back line like Ewoks and Old Republic if your JKL in the front just doesn't have the metal because... Your JKL is going to get chewed up, and then people are going to—he's going to look at your Ewoks and OR and go, mm, "Nice, two solos." Round three, another opponent thinking a weak modded Galactic Legend will hold. It didn't, and Vendetta got a flawless victory and claimed his triple crown. Very, very nice. Next, we go to my girl, Geek Girl, and we have to read the paragraph. Of the geek girl for she writes it short and clear and this this very distinct so she goes i went to one i had the back wall of death first round and got stuck on his relic darth revving team round two was better full cleared but dropped a couple battle battles round three was super easy and full cleared nothing much out of the ordinary but still you know geek girl that's what she wrote two and one very solid performance good job geek girl keep it up yeah more reports like geek girl <laughs> yeah, to the point <laughs> i did good i, I won i did I good i won they lost <laughs> <laughs> moyo with a three and oh um no whammy no crown but still a really really solid week uh he's been getting more three and o's than he's been getting two and ones and uh, i'm sure it is reflected in the division table <gasps> all right next we lads margle I can't, I can't do the Arnold voice. You can do it. Come on. You have to do it right. If you're going to do Arnold, you can then you do it. Stop whining. <laughs> you son of a... All right. Uh, Marco. Polo. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, all right. So 2-1 for Marco Polo. Uh, it says, first round, it says, I got the L, sadly. Placed an auto D accidentally. How do you accidentally place an auto D? I don't know. I don't know. It just happens. Uh, second round, got the W. No full clear. Wouldn't have been an advantage due to one less mess up than my opponent. That's that's the way we like to see it, Marco. And then round three says, FC and a big W. Easy wins. Opponents went offense heavy. Hey, it happens. But hey, two and one for Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. Olimar had an, an eventful week. Facing opponents who, well, they just didn't leave enough. They didn't leave enough offense for attack. Uh, it is for this reason that Olimar's defense is held stoically, not letting anyone pass the front wall all week. Well, he took the defenses <laughs> of them all to town. So that's why, I mean, there was one loss. So whammy instead of a triple crown, unfortunately. Hey, still still looks nice there now. All right. Grab your cameras. You only get a brief glimpse of this lady once in a blue moon. It's the world famous World famous gaming paparazzi. You stand back. We don't want your scum around here. Um, but uh the world famous Kate Gaming, two and one. She said round one was a loss. Opponent said an FU defense. Neither of us full cleared. Not a fun round. I am sorry. Let's get that person's name. How dare you do this to the world famous Kate Gaming? There will be repercussions, I swear. 
Round two win. She says, I got the one shot full clear. Opponent couldn't get past my fleets. Ooh, she's kicking that ass with that fleets. That's what I like. Round three was a win. This is another one shot full clear. Opponent couldn't get past my CLS team. So she's winning in multiple ways. And then she wrote as a happy little note. I think I'm the only one happy about switching back to 3v3. Yes, I understand, Kate. But still a hell of a good run in 5v5. You're holding strong, and that's all we can ask. So good job, Kate. And there it is. There's mm -hmm. Division 2. No more undefeateds in Division mm -hmm. 2. It's just, uh, it's not there. It's not there. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are still three people, and they're all just even Stevens. Just three people on 23 and 1. That so, is, you know, Olimar, Moyo, oh. Vendetta. I mean, seeing Vendetta in third, it's just, yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> You got that he, new he, blood coming he, in. He, I mean, he ha he did have some bad luck at the start of the season against Slackers. So not getting the full clears really, really hurt his banners. But, uh, you know, Olimar riding high, Moyo riding high. Vendetta's just going to have to outround them. It's as simple as that because there's mm -hmm. no way he's pulling back 5,000 banners against Olimar. Just ain't going to happen. Ain't going to mm -hmm. happen. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, we're going to cut to a break. Okay. I'm going to hand over to uh, Paul, who is going to give you the Patreons League. And we will be right back after these small breaks. Thank you, Neil. Stay tuned as more of your favorite streamers are coming up. But as always, we take a break to recognize those who make this show and all the other shows right here possible with the Patreon leaderboard. I'm Paul Anthony. As always, I'm joined by my robotic life partner, Newbie from Helly and the Noob as we take a look at the standings. Unlike the regular boards on GA Center, these reset every month and are a courtesy to our Kyber Combatant Level Patreons. Do you want to join in the leaderboards next month? Join the Escape Podcast Patreon at patreon.com slash escape pod, or at the escape pod, no cast in there, at the $10 a month level or higher, and join all these wonderful people. Sign up for next season closes on March 26th. Let's get to it. Big Country Mags, we all knew what he had to do. Two and one, he says. He files this report. Round one, I lost. I was trying for Max Banners to try and tie Dr. Jojo for the lead spot. Well, I ended up three shooting a Phoenix team trying to one shot for Max. Round two, full clear, no issues. Round three, he got stuck on a negotiator fleet while his opponent only cleared one zone. Bringer of Chaos, he forgot to join. So therefore, it goes down as an 0-3. D, 3-0 on the other hand. He filed this report. I've been on vacation for this past GAC, but I somehow won the championship. Also, Paul is the MVP of Wing Recommendations. Well, thank you, D. It was also nice to meet you and your lovely gal pal. We'll be in touch. Dr. Jojo, here we go. I'm not going to advance just yet. Our triple header champion filed this report. He had a long one, so I had to shorten this a little bit. But still, I entered this pod cast excited and worried because I saw a person with an insane lifetime banner, 750k, who finished second place in Division 1. And the alt of solo base. His round one opponent was a joke, he says. And solo got paired with the big banner guy. They both won, and they got paired together for his Fight Night stream. Sadly, Dr. Jojo had an app crash, and it cost him a battle. But his Sith Eternal Empire trap worked, so he went into fleets up by five points, but lost all of that to a negotiator. They went into the last fleet battle with him up by only one banner. He destroyed his empire with his negotiator for 66 banners. But he looked at the stream and saw that he beat his empire for 65, and therefore they tied. Now, since Solo's alt had a million more GP, Solo's alt gets the win, and then Dr. Jojo drew the 750k banner guy. It came down to one battle, and efficiency was the key. JoJo emerged victorious, 2-1 and one for the week, and for those paying attention, you know what happened there. Four strong. No report? There's your numbers. Hot sauce. 
the creator of Hot Utils, who's included here because he's not a streamer, but he is a Patreon. Check out HotUtils.com and get access to some of the best tools in the game, the official remodding of the Escape Podcast. He did not file a uh, report, so therefore, those were the numbers. Leonard McFace Punch. We didn't get the numbers, but he did report to me. Round one, he missed. Round two and three, he got more of the same that he had. Since we have no numbers, it does have to go down as an 0 and 3. Schnarman, 2 and 1. No report, but I'll point out 21 wins is a full clear. Zero losses is one shot full clear. He just got out edged. And finally, Sephiranus. He wanted me to roast him because he got the cone of shame for forgetting to join. There you go. It's on the screen. Let's take a look at the final boards for this month. BCM had a chance, but him getting cute cost him the championship. Dr. Jojo takes the crown. BCM, you didn't need big banners. You were already ahead. You just needed to win. Hot Sauce and Schnarman in third and fourth. D in fifth. Force and Seth in sixth and seventh. Bringer in the eighth spot. Punchy in the basement. Next month is 3v3, though, and it starts all over again for these guys. While the people we're about to go back to covering have to deal with their past and show what they're made of. Coming up after these words from SWGOH.GG, we'll be back with the A-Leagues for GAC. For Noob and the Patreons, we thank you, and remember, next week is the deadline to get on the board for next month's Patreon leaderboard. Go to patreon.com slash theescapepod to sign up. Stay tuned for more with Nev and Ranger. Be nice to each other, damn it. SWGOH.GG is your one-stop site for the raw data behind the game Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. From complete gear lists to intuitive stats behind all of your favorite holotable heroes. SWGOH.GG has it all. With a .GG account, you can get a complete view of your own roster, see how you match up against other players, and even check out the history of your own Grand Arena Championship matches. You can also see what your opponent used on you to give you a better understanding of counters and team compositions to improve your gameplay. Did you know that they also have some great Patreon features as well? Ad-free browsing of their site, guild information, and manual information requests are included in their three levels of Patreon support. Check out the site for more details. That's swgoh.gg. Unleash your holotable potential today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. It's, it's time for the A-League. Oh, we're moving up in the world. The boys are getting bigger. The boys are getting bigger. And Leo's getting large. Leo's getting large. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we start off with Jake. Now, Jake's report was six words long. What, what? Ray was the goat all week. I mean, look at okay. them stats. 3-0, and 27, one loss, six holds. That's a triple whammy. That's Why would you whammy. not want to scream from the rafters that you picked up a triple whammy in the last week? He you wanted know, to talk about Ray as want, the goat. Yeah, just wants to talk about Ray. It's Ray, 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 Ray. Well, <laughs> to you all right. Yeah. There you go. But impressive. Most impressive. Most impressive. All right. We move on to, you know who it is. It's time to get awesome. It's time to get really awesome in here. Time to get Calvin, Calvin awesome. awesome. Who, again, this week continues the streak of his awesomeness. 3-0. <laughs> Let's see the highlights. He says, round one, opponent watched my stream, chatted with me in game, and then didn't attack. Albeit, I left a pretty high score. <laughs> round two, I made a stupid mistake and left both my SLKR counter and first order on defense. So I had to use SLKR with gear 12 nicest to take down his. Garbage banners, but still got the win. And round three, opponent with good lifetime banners, good roster, and good mods, but does not know how counters work and overkills everything. I left a lot on defense, including both Galactic Legends, and he could not manage a FC or win. Currently sitting at rank three, helping top 10 hulls. Amazing job. 12 and 0, 5v5. Great job from Calvin Awesome. Maze balls. Sad maze boss. Scribe. Scribbles. Uh, Scribbles. Now, round one wasn't the best start for Scribe. No, as he suffered a game crash and subsequently lost the round. He was very, very salty. Uh, round two, a full clear this round and a solid hold from GL Ray got Princess Scribbles back on track. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, round three, nearly lost it. Like, nearly lost it when he um, uh, <laughs> uh, reached a full... Um, uh, sorry, uh, when he re- uh, realised a, a full D had not been set by him. So he's there, mm-hmm. and he's looking at his banners, and he's like, oh, 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 hang on a minute, I didn't set a full D. Ooh! But he got lucky. Um, he did set his GL Ray, and she came to the rescue. Mrs. Potato Head came to the rescue and saved the week for Scribe. Two and one. There you go. Next, we go to Brick Hard Meat. Hard. Mm. We be eating that hard. hard. It keeps you uh, scurvy away. Hard. All right. Two and one. Finish this 5v5 with 11 and one record. Brick Hard Meat. These are his words, not mine. It says, round one, not much to say here. I had an efficient one shot full clear. My opponent did not win for Brick. Round two, I screwed my pooch. <laughs> mm-hmm. I screwed the pooch by setting my only reliable SLKR counter on defense by mistakes. Oh! Oh. This threw off my whole attack, and I couldn't clear. I took a tough brick hard loss, and he, he did. And his, his opponent was no slouch either. And then round three, he made it up. So it's much like round one, I won full shot. A full shot everything and putting can do the same win by 700 for brick so brick another great week 11 one two one this week bomber oof, another two and one these two and ones are starting to creep into bomber's game i mean round one was easy uh i mean not just easy but like easy easy as the opponent didn't set ships so uh you know big banner win there uh round two now round two just sucked 600k more GP and a GL slacker against it. I mean, that's just like not really fair. That's not fair. 600k more GP and a GL slacker. So, uh, you know, after failing to get his counter to work against the slacker, he basically had to sit and watch his D get full cleared, unfortunately. So that was his loss. Round three, though, back to normal. Opponent who struggled with his defense. Uh, Bomber flew through to get the full clear and the win. Two and one. All right, oh, here me. we go. Look at that, triple crown. Oh, this is the now great. I can read his stats. I mean, it's one of the most humble paragraphs I've ever seen. And by humble, like not at all. Uh, Nev, the wanker himself, says another flawless week. Oh, another flawless week. Yes, another Nev. flawless week. Nev Samosa. Uh, let's see what Nev says. Round one was nice and easy. He got the full clear because his opponent. Auto deployed. Well, that's that's pretty easy. Yeah. Round two, it says I finally faced my first SLKR and got to use the counter I spent so long getting. It was a bit anticlimactic. The SKL went down very easily to a generate with counter. It's nice, isn't it? The yeah. JKL, it just yeah. J- J- JKL just countered him and he just went down. Mm-hmm. Round three, I was up against another weak opponent. The f- the full clear was easy and has occurred my third triple crown of the month for someone who just went undefeated for a month. I'm still salty over a week three's non-inclusion so do you want to talk about that no i don't want to talk about that i mean because i think what had happened is you joined but you weren't allowed to join yeah i was joined but the rng gods were like no you shall not pass (laughs) the bell rock has spoken okay (laughs) on to the llama one and two week for the llama i mean round one round one started off great uh with the the llama setting a chase score of 2134 Wow! You set exactly. You set a chase score at twenty one thirty four, and you're like, "Bring it!" Um, you know, they thought it would hold. It did not. It didn't wow. hold. Okay, so it, this is where it gets strange because you see the stats say one and two. So round two, maybe uh, a little on tilt from round one. It all came undone when the ball was dropped against an easy night sister, and then round three couldn't clear feet and got cleared by the opponent. I'm trying to understand from the report which round the win was in, but I just, I can't, I don't know. Well, so, no uh, holds, uh, so uh, Lama, if, if you're in chat and you could let us know which round you actually won because your report, for all intents and purposes, it sounds like you lost every single round. Or maybe she won everything. Who knows? Yeah, I don't maybe, know. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Anyway, moving on. All right, moving on to the Spartan himself. Sparta. This is Sparta. The easy version. The easy version. It. It's very easy. Yeah. Spartan is our boy. He says, finally back to normal. 3 0. So started off strong with a win and a full clear. Round two, much tougher defense, but I held the line. He locked shields. 
they're no match. And round three, another hold on my side, and I cleared half the board again. So the Spartans held the line. No retreat, no surrender. Excellent. Spartan Z. There we Excellent. Go. Rand B. Two and one for the second week in a row. As Rand's fine form from earlier this month eludes him. Such a good start to the month. And then, you know, it, it, you kind of hope you can ride the wave all the way. Mm. But yeah, I mean, round one was the problem round as both competitors placed pretty similar defenses. But Rand's opponent was able to just edge him out by a uh, narrow margin. And round two and round three were the wins. So two and one for round B, unfortunately. You know, these things happen. Such as the such as the life finds a way. Uh Urs, I'm actually happy to report we're not doing a spoon this week. No wooden spoon this week. Yeah. No wooden spoon. However, one and two. So someone in the hall has been carbonate got carbonite to the face. The Twi'leks have gone mental and they're run all over the they're run all over the, the, the shop. So I mean Urs is not happy. I don't know what he's doing on his other account, but his main account, the one that I remember from, mm -hmm. he, I mean, he got good banners. Yeah, just he got good banners. One, he got 27 one, wins. He got yeah, three clearances. Yeah, just, oh boy, it just, it's hard to... Pretty sure he's going to be switching to his other account for season three. I think that might be a thing that happens. Moving on, Tilo missed the week. So nothing for Tilo, unfortunately, in week four. Did he forget or did he get a, a nev? Uh, he 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 uh, he said he forgot. Oh, okay. So there was no neving there. Okay, because no. that's what I'm calling when you get denied a GC. I'm calling it a nev. So that's official. That's canon. All right, Yeti from the frozen tundra of the Hoth side of the worlds. We have Yeti coming in, but you notice that Yeti's fur is a darker color. Because Yeti not just hides in the snow like a polar bear. He comes at you. And he sure did this week. 3-0. and 12-0 and in the season. It says round one, his account matched up fairly well against mine. But he said a, his opponent said a pretty cheesy defense. And uh, he dropped a lot of battles. He wins by s just 700 banners. Nah, no biggie. Mm -hmm. Round two. Said another good account on his next opponent. This was a good match. Um... But, you know, Yeti leveraged his money in advantage. He lost banners along the way. He wins 21-29 to 21-14. So just 15 banners. And then round three was kind of like round one. It was a mauling. Yeti was hungry. So he went and knocked this guy's tauntaun on the ground, dragged his opponent back, and just, I can't write the horrible things that Yeti did to his opponent. <laughs> I mean, by 700 banners again. So... Ooh, round one and three were a bloody mess. Round two was the real highlight, but three and oh, great job from the Yeti. Nice whammy. And there's Div One and Calvin Awesome still undefeated. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's, he's not he just awesome. Unstoppable, he's Calvin. Man. Awesome. Oh, my boy Calvin is not he is not playing around. No, he's not just awesome. He's Calvin awesome. I know, right? So, yes. So uh mm, yeah, that's the way that, that goes. Uh, we will it's be close, we, we will be bringing more people into the A League, so you know everybody be prepared. The A League is getting split down. We'll be creating a minor league underneath the A League, and mm -hmm. we will be splitting the people in the A League down between those two. So it's more than likely going to be the veteran players are going to be in the A League with the you know 4.5 to 4.8. The people that are still in the four mils um, will be in the. Um, uh, in the minor leagues as because everybody that comes up from div two in future will be going straight into the minors so uh, that's the way that that well all i know is they don't want calvin in their division good god and gravy that dude yeah. sounds yeah. i mean uh, calvin to be perfectly honest with you calvin is not going to be in the a league um in season three because we're going to do a re-equalization um taking into consideration people's top atgp uh, and their regular GP, um, because Calvin's top 80 GP is more akin to double A AA or triple A. So we'll we'll have to wait and see, though, at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Okay, we'll we're into the double A's. Oh, here we go. Time for the playbook. Two and one. Uh, round one was, his words, a fun loss. I, I, I don't get how any loss can be fun, but it was a fun loss against a former Wolfpack guildmate. Uh, the, sadistic, the sadistic defense was back. 
Uh, a loss to a Ray and a GG with questionable choices for cleanup crew meant he couldn't capitalize on his defense holding. Uh, mods causing the misery there in the loss. Round two took on a vicious red beard, but he only plundered one territory. So win for the playbook. And round three was against a guildmate. Um, an old guildmate, an ex-guildmate, like an ex-parrot. A very close match, but Fatal still got a clean win. Flawless victory. Flawless victory. All right, we move on to my man, Fort Mort. Fort Mort. Nev, shop Mort. Shop S, S Mort. Mort. All right. Well, guess what Mort did again? He went 3 0. Now, the first round one and round three, not much, or, or sorry, round two and three, not much report on. He read his opponent. The Excel spreadsheet came in handy. It's round one I want to talk about. Um, he said, This is the toughest matchup of the round to start. And it was unbelievably close. This is the first time that Mort's been full cleared in almost five months and he had to do everything he could to get this win winning 2098 to 2069. This was a battle Royale. It could have been Mort's first loss, but hung tough and the other two rounds really not much to report on. Uh, he won by, Oh gee, let me see a thousand banners and like 500 banners. Uh, I mean, <laughs> round one where it's at, but perfect for Mort 12 and 0 and 5v5. 36 and 0 in all three of his counts. He wants to report, and he's on a 48 win streak right now. 48 win streak intact, he says. So there you go. DB, my compatriot from across the pond. Obviously, he's still across the pond. Well, he's not. He's not. Re he's not representing the British Empire. At the no, very well. no, no, no. Um, and he's not representing. Definitely not representing the uh, the British Empire or the East India Tea Company, for that matter. Think with of the Queen's EV. This has got to improve. You know. We, we, we are, you know, we're loyal subjects. And, uh, right. you know, um, right now the royal family, they, they needed that win, DB. They needed mm -hmm. that win. Yeah. You know, Duke of Edinburgh is laid up in bed and he needed to hear a 3-0 and from DB. But unfortunately this week, it was only a 1-2. and two. Mm. All right. Moving on to Mr. Pink himself, the Tickle Tank expert, <laughs> Mr. Jigabachi, uh, who went 3-0. and of, you know, rough 3v3, but Jig has really picked it up. Went 3-0, 12-0 in this 5v5 season. Uh, round one was a little close. Tough defense from his opponent. He wins still by 93 banners, so a little close. Again, round two, another close one. I mean, <laughs> I think they threw the sink at each other. I mean, Jig wins 1843 to 1779. So, you know, there were some crazy holes on both sides. Uh, really close battles, um, and he, it just came down to efficiency. Who could get those get that last push for the end there? And Jay got, came came out ahead. And then round three, he won by like almost 250 banners. Uh, it was a guild made set of of Renardo. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. it must be as a, as a gentleman. Uh, and um, so it was a cool dude, uh, but good mods, but didn't matter. Jig. Got it done. He says, I'll repeat my defense once all season. I experienced all over the place, and every team at Relic got doodled and used. I don't even know what that means. He says, now it's time to show up the main sails and out to sea for the bloat bloat for threes. Hard, Jig. If you want to, we'll bring brick hard meat along with you. Good yeah. job. Bring Wax on. your board, waste your brain, pray for waves. Mm -hmm. Gridzy. Hey, a fine, a fine return to form for Gridzy this week with a triple crown. Round one, nice, easy start against an auto-deploy. I mean, yeah, they're boring, but it's an easy start. Round two, Gridzy was up against a viewer and a member of the community. Mm. I do not know who this member of the community is. It was a close match, but Grid had done his homework. Oh, really? What? Yes. He'd done his homework, and he took the victory by six batters. I think that was close. Round three opponent was, like, super keen, like, very keen. Uh, clearing grid like 30 minutes after the offense went active and he set him a chase score of 21 35 oh did he set any of his gls on d no he didn't so grid punished him by winning by one banner oh one my single God. banner wouldn't have happened if the guy had put any of his three gls on defense but you win some you lose some 
All right, moving on to Rico. Suave. Oh, he touched my fa la la, my ding ding dong. Rico, two and one. Now, this is a little bit of a caveat. I don't usually do this for two and ones, but round one, round two, clean, somewhat a little closer. I, he got the wins. That's all I want to talk about there. But round three, he said, after doing the masses, saw that I only needed to deploy to reach Kyber. My opponent needed a full clear with feats to reach Kyber. And since, since neither could get top spots in Kyber, I reached out to him and informed him of my intentions to set a weak D8 fence and give him Kyber. He thanked me and returned the favor. We had some great fun playing on a very relaxed level for change. I lost, but both of us are Kyber. Um, so, I mean, you don't really see a lot of people doing that, and, and especially when it's competitive. So, mm -hmm. big kudos. You know, Rico could have brought the pain. He didn't. He went two and one. He got Kyber. He let his opponent get Kyber. What more do you need to say? That's a that's a two and one that you can be proud of. That's a good job, the Rico. Wigzy didn't join. Nothing for week four. Way to go, God! No, just sit there for thirty seconds and do nothing. Mm hmm. Do you? You. So I know, you. I'm, I'm waiting for the 30 seconds. Okay, okay. I can't wait that long. All <laughs> right. We go to my boy RKP. Down with rear RKP. Yeah, you know me. Let's see, that's that's how the homies do it. All right. So RKP says two and one says so close to three. No movie theme description here. In a world gone wrong, where RKP could have gone three no. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, round one it says my opponent, I, my opponent and I were the only team that brack without Galactic Legends. Find each other in this arena full of gills for like the Hunger Games movie, but uh, he won 2099 to 2010. Full clear, no fails. Good job from RKP. Round two going up again against another SLKR in defense. Like a little hobbit with a powerful counter, counter, counter ring, I was able to throw the ring into the volcano where I watched my opponent burn and melt into nothingness. Full clear. 2126 to 2115. Round three. He says, What's this? SLK, SLKR and D everywhere? He says, I felt like it was in Jurassic Park where the park was out of power and I had and we have a T-Rex on the run. The 2125 was a score to beat. Unfortunately, I fell on SLKR. I ended up getting a full clear, but 2093 to 2125. So he says, I gotta stop doing this two and one and get more three and So two and one for our boy RK RKP. Wrangler. Oof. Comes uh, Wrangler is one tough customer. Don't look good. The renowned space cowboy and Wampa mm -hmm. Hunter sure. had a bad week losing two Definitely. rounds this week. But he did pick up his Kyber. He <gasps> did pick up his Kyber. That's so all that matters. He'll enjoy, he'll enjoy that with his hoth steaks and his tauntaun sausages. Throw a little bit of uh, Karelian barbecue sauce on there. A little bit of Tatooine rub. I'm sure he'll enjoy that with some slaw, but uh, only a one and two for Wrangler this week. Oh, we need some slaw. Let's, 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 you know. Um, next is my boy, whatever. Whatever. Whatever he wants. He does anything. And he's uh, doing whatever he wants by ending my GAC center participation on a high note. Three no triple crown for whatever. And I, he won all three rounds. He, he did great. I don't really want to talk about that. I just want to let him whatever's not doing the GAC GA center anymore, but he goes out strong three, zero. he just want to say, thanks for having me as part of GAC center. I'll go off the radar. Enjoy the easy, normal gamer life, but it was a fun experience. See you sometime soon. There you go. So whatever. We're excited to see you go. Great mm -hmm. job representing yourself. Uh, good, strong performance this week. Three, zero. got the, Got the triple crown. What more can you ask for somebody who's if you're gonna go out, go out on a high note. Go so. out on a high, yeah. He's what, I mean, he's whatever he's not, gone. He's not giving up the game. He's still no, gonna be competitive. No. He's just not gonna stream anymore. Right. He doesn't he 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 wants the he he basically the way he said it was he just doesn't want the pressure of having to stream and see people do his GAC. He wants to be competitive, but he finds it more relaxed. If he's not streaming or posting his uh, GAC, mm -hmm. that is why he is stepping back. Anyway, toodles. On to the wolf. Two and one. Great start. And then the wolf. Great start for the wolf. For the wolf as his 
His defense just did a great job this week. Uh, it held the line in round one while uh, he went in for the kill and the full clear. Round two, another very good performance from his defense, getting holds while the Wolf one-shot his opponents. Three GLs. Very, very big win. And then round three, just the live match. I think the nerves got to him because it was a live match, which is always a lot of fun. Um, but... It was a loss, unfortunately. Close. Eight banners. Two and one. Oh. For Wolf. And there is the double A league. Fort Mort, the only undefended champion. He's going to run away with it. He's going to run away with it. I don't know. He's... Whatever. Yeah, whatever's gone now. So it's going to come down to the playbook or jig. Mm -hmm. Having to really step up to give Mort some pressure. Because that's going to give him a... With whatever gone now, that gives... More a little bit of leeway. He could actually yeah. lose one and still be in a great position to take yeah. the title. I mean, he's 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 yeah. I mean, he's 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 always gonna he's always gonna be behind everybody that's on the same number of round wins as him because he doesn't mm. go for banners. He goes for the win, and if he, he can get the win with just fifteen hundred banners, that's what he's gonna go for. That's what he's gonna play for. That's his strategy. Those are the tactics he plays, and it serves him very very well. Um, but, it, you know, it only serves you well if you win. Now, he's still winning, and he hasn't lost in ages. Uh, but as soon as those loses, as soon as those wins turn into L's, that's where that's where it's he's going to have tricky. problems. It, that's but, where it's going to go tricky. So, But uh, having two losses difference is going to be huge for him. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, honestly, I mean, can you... Re unless the RNG gods, like, really, really crap on him from high, mm -hmm. can you see him drop in two matches before the end of the season? Because I can't see it. Maybe I, one, if he has we one have really seen nightmare things, round. We've seen crazy things here now. Yeah, we have true, seen... true. We have seen some crazy stuff in the Premier League. So, uh, you know, it could happen oh, in boy. the League. Yeah, yeah wait till we get to the Premier League today, folks. Oh, my God. Yeah, it went nuts in the Premier League this week. Anyway, All let's right. move on to the Triple A's. All right, Triple A and CO. All right, uh, Bulldog went 3-0. and What's that, Bulldog? No, you can't bite my leg. Sorry, but uh, we will salute you. Close. Look at these stats, man. These are crazy stats. These are all like just good God. It's all over the place that week. <laughs> just, just Bulldog is a junkyard dog because he likes to win ugly. Yeah, but he's ugly. gonna get that win, boy. I tell you, he's gonna get in there and get that win. He got that victories three and zero for Bulldog. So representing the Bulldog Nation. Going nerdy. Now, a two and one for Thaddeus is like a three and oh for everybody else. It's like it's like the apocalypse. Is it again. is. It's, you know, it, a two and one for nerdy is like a three and oh, triple crown, triple whammy for everybody else because it doesn't happen that often. Did he, you know, come in and say, oh my God, look how awesome I'm doing. I mean, he wasn't like brilliant. I did watch a couple of his streams, but Fad, you know, you should be screaming from the rafters, two and one, two and one, two and one. So, two and one. <laughs> I love this. 25 wins, 26 losses. Yeah. <laughs> if we're losses to wins and still went two and one. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Mud bomb in his little mud clay hut, in his little mud clay land, in his little mud clay village, in his little mud clay whatever. Mud bomb representing the dirt of the, the soil of the people. Uh, two and one from from mud bomb. No, it's not. It's incorrect. No, wait, that's it's wrong. Three and three, yeah, it's three, three and zero. Wait a minute. Wait, that's wait. That's wrong. He went three and zero, baby. Yeah, he went three and zero. The one of them was a tie, and I um, had a blonde moment. Um, failed to mm. update the stats, so that's my bad. Yeah, mud. That you should this, be three you know, and zero. Yeah, when you know who's sing the mud at when you see this. So three and zero. I was to say I had three and zero. So I was looking like wait, wait, what? Uh, uh, but he writes three and zero. There you have it, folks. Never thought it happened, did you? Bomb went twelve and zero, and maybe getting top fifty, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, and it, oh boy, did he whoop some Heine. Now round three was, um, uh, was close. This is where it could have been, could have been doing one for mud bum. Um, first one he, 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 yeah, it was, it was, it wasn't even close. I mean, he won handily round three. He eked out. It went 2085 to 2077. This, Ooh, he was sweating it there. Um, so they both, 
threw a match in there, but at the end, it's about getting what how efficient can you can you recover getting those banners? He did three and oh, it's three and oh, and he says, There you have it, folks. 12 and 0 is complete for mud bomb and a promising look at the top 50 as well. There you go. Paul with a one and two this week. Oh, what's his uh, excuse? Oh, god, Here still go. one. I mean, he's still like cleared all three rounds, but. Round one, a slip up mm -hmm. against a Rolo team from his opponent. It gave him a way to victory, but then he had a loss against GG and cost oh. him banners and he lost it by 24. Um, round oh. two, a single loss. A single loss was the difference here as he failed to one shot a Thrawn fleet and he lost by 20 banners. But round three, not all was lost. He avoided the wooden spoon. The FU ship defense held this round, and a grateful Paul took the full clear without slips. Very flawless victory. Do you think Paul is afraid of Kyber? I don't know. I think he is, because <laughs> he had a chance to get Kyber, and he, he didn't do it. I, we're going to think he's stuck in a rhodium. He's got that nonsense in his head. Paul, you're going to have to start thinking... Life is Kyber, and Kyber's life. You gotta wear that on your sleeve, sir. We're gonna have to get you Kyber eventually. Good lord! All right, moving on to oh, Nev. That's no space station. It's a moon, and the moon went three and zero, to rounding out his twelve and zero perfection in five e five. Round one, he says, went up against a mighty Chlorian in the shape of Darth Chaos. Hey, I know that guy. Since I happen to be a mighty corner myself. Uh, <laughs> well, no problem. Pony didn't bother. Oh, I need to talk to that guy. Like, you better attack. You better not, you need to just get, let him get the win 21 28 30. Uh, the next one was a really close one 21 28 to 2093. Um, where was a. He says, I tested out my Imperial Troopers versus Jing Elite and it worked, it worked a treat. Yeah, if you get the jump with Troopers, man, that's their, their, their money, man. Round three says, thought I was a goner for sure. Three Galactic Legends to my two and better top end mods in his GLs. He also had a, last, uh, had a lifetime 650k banner. Um, but you know what? That didn't stop the moon. He he fought and he got a victory 2100 to 2073. It did matter the difference. He got it. And he says, 340 Division Kyber, Division One Kyber finish. My best yet. Got to lock it up in 200 next time, eh, Ranger? You're right. You lock it up, Moon. Lock it up. I want that top 200. There you go. Oh, it's Darth Kermit. Oh, it's my turn. Yay! <laughs> okay, 3 and out. Round 1 was nice and easy for Kermit. So easy. He had a little fun with the sea versus gas. Okay. Obviously it won because he won. Round 2, the ship defense held for the win and Kermit shined on picking up a C solo against Padme. So yeah, you gotta love those solos. Round three, an inexperienced opponent left out too much solo fodder on defense, way too much. And uh, Kermit chomped it all up for A3 and O triple whammy. Nicely done, sir. Yeah, representing me very well. Good job. I would have had to cut you if you'd failed. Uh, moving on to Deadpool Kyle, Mr. DPK. Not a lot to write about here. One and two for DPK. He says, I'm glad this month is over. <laughs> Five and seven for the season. I don't want to talk about it. It's been, I've been way too busy for my own good. And he has been in real life. You know, things have been happening. So a really rough month for DPK. Oh boy. The, the finish one and two. Cause well, he was four and five. He could have maybe finished a little bit strong, but he still got a one and two and that hurts. So one and two for a boy DPK. New content. Yeah. Because we cannot fit in. And we will never try and fit in Plo Job clears all the buzz droids. It's never, no, ever, ever going to happen. Let's not do that, okay? It's never going to happen. Let's we are never going to fit that into no, a name No, let's leave tag. it alone. <laughs> anyway, it's just in. Nice victory. 3-0. and oh, Triple whammy. Good week. Hey. Uh, moving on to Lalinder. I get to make fun of you now. <laughs> My day has come. I'm not going to, even though you have a baby-faced... Han Solo as your as your uh, icon, as your mascot, yeah, as mm -hmm, your icon. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you know, if it works, 
leave it there because you kicked some butt this week. Three and zero from Lalinder. He says, "I, I changed my defense of the three rounds, putting very strong teams on the downside of the map. That led me win comfortably round one and three. Asked my rivals, they couldn't clear my map. So Lalinder, very, very representation of his uh, dominating performance, goes three and zero. Bravo. Good job. Uh, and here's the second person that will be uh -oh. leaving. What? Leaving, yes. Yeah. Scorch the Hoss Aww. is uh, uh, taking a step back from, well, I mean, he's not just taking a step back from content creation. He's taking a step back from the game for a few mm. months. Baby Scorch is just eating up his disposable time. You know, if you've had a little babby, you know. But when you've got a little yeah. baby, it is not easy. It is not easy to find the time. And, you know, doing this isn't just a simple case of uh, streaming because you can just sit down, hit stream and throw some stuff out. Scorch doesn't tend to do the live stream. He tends to do the produced content mm -hmm. and you've got to record it. And then you've got to refine mm -hmm. it. So uh, we uh, we hope you come back soon, mate. Um, yes. uh, all the best. And uh not like not a whatever going out on a high with only three wins, <laughs> but I'm, he will see the irony in that. Hope to I see know. you again soon, Scorch. Be well, my friend. All right, my boy, the Senate, the younger, sexier version of Cubs. Oh boy, just say it, <laughs> Nev. Just say yeah. the spoon, yeah, the wooden spoon for our boy, the Senate. He, he, had, didn't, he didn't have much to write here. He no, said, he didn't have a good week at all. He said nothing else to say. It was poop. That's all. Poop. Yeah. No, poop. <laughs> poop is perfect. Yeah, that's that's it, all you need to... That's, when you get, you get a wooden spoon, poop is all you need to write. Yeah, he's had the diarrhea since the Easter's on this one. So uh, not too good for the Senate. But hopefully threes are coming around. He'll pick himself back up and rock and roll. Uh surprise 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 that's not a two and one that is actually a three and oh it's another tie that i missed right. it's another tie i missed now round one <laughs> this is just gonna this is just gonna blow your mind round one was so lucky he auto deployed and still won what yeah Dr. Not, not not because not because of a higher banner score his opponent did the exact same thing. They oh, both auto sweet. deployed, and wow. neither of them, neither of them, could win a battle. He won on GP. How <laughs> messed up a round win is that? I mean, that's you just better pure count blind luck. Market. Pure blind luck. Uh, round two, wow. a solid back wall held true for Zeppers while he ate up a full oh, he clear. Oh, he deployed. Okay, good. And round three. Two GLs versus two GLs. Zeppers on O. Opponents on D. Zeppers got the full clear. And mm -hmm. his opponent did not show. Didn't show. Three and O, even though it says two and one. Yeah. Dr. Zeppers. <laughs> God, that's unbelievable. Fisk! Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. meow, meow. meow, meow. meow, meow. This who wrote the Gettysburg address of uh, reports here. I'm just going to do the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> he actually sends the GG page, man. This dude is on it, man. When I was looking at this, I was like, God dang, man. Like he gets into the new math kind of level here, Nev. So uh, uh, says, uh, let's see, the first round, uh, it was close. 21-29 versus 21-16. Efficiency battle. This pulls it out. Beautifully well executed on his plan. Uh, round two, uh, I've got the win, 21-34. He um, didn't tell me what his opponent did, but I can tell it wasn't something pretty good because it didn't even bother to show up, I guess, to get the bear count. And this one was really impressive. His opponent went first and scored a 21-37. Now, that would be intimidating. That's, a, said, that's quite a chase. Uh, you know... Uh, so he, he was, he was, a, he was a little scary, you know, it was a little, you know, scary, but I got to give it to this. He didn't look at that and go, okay, he, he got the nerves. He got through it. He got through the uneasiness of it, came back and scored a 21 49. Jesus. That's 
unbelievable. There must have been some nice solo fodder on that back line. Yeah, I mean, it does. I don't care what I don't care what it was. He did a beautiful job. That is that is that can be intimidating, but he, you know, this is a well earned three and zero, especially on that last battle. Good lord in heaven! So three and zero for Tisk. <laughs> And there is the Division 1 table. Nobody is undefeated. Everybody's losing. That's no moon at the top. Bulldog has lost his crown. Uh-oh. That, that, that's... that. I mean, that is lit, that is the first time Bulldog has ne not been at the top of a table. Ever. In all <laughs> the shows, he has always been at the top. And that is the first time he is not at the top. So somebody tell Bulldog he's lost his crown. Um... He's been beaten now. by a moon, but uh, I, I, you, I just want to just want to say one thing. Look where Mudbum is right now. Mudbum has been absolutely He's on fire, man. Flying. He was on fire this month. Um, yeah, it did say two and one on the stack card, but you know he got a tie. No. That was a three and zero. Oh, so he went twelve and zero oh this month, and that has just shot him up the ranks. Absolutely blazing a storm. Looking really, really good. Um, now, uh, with Scorch the Hoss retiring, temporarily, he's going on sabbatical, going nerdy, will be holding up the foot of the As table. he should be, yeah. As he, uh, as he should be. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, lots of people in the middle of the table. It's, yeah, it's going to be an interesting next two months. Very, very interesting, because everybody's losing the occasional round. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting one, that. Anyway, we're going to go to a quick commercial break and then we're going to come back with the big boys, the major leagues and the Premier League for Let's your um, uh, viewing pleasure. Mm. Are you a member of Team Paul or Team Neil? Maybe you prefer story time with the llama or dabble in the buttery side of the force with Biscuit Weasel. Or maybe you like the escape pod talents from down under like Heinze and Scotty. No matter who you support, you can get one of my designs from the Escape Podcast merch store. Just go to escapepodcastaways.com, click on the merch link, and it will take you to the Tee Public site where you can support me, Mrs. Anthony, also known as Critty K. Also be sure to check out the Mrs. Anthony Shirts channel on the Escape Podcast's Discord server weekly to vote for my latest shirts in the Design Derby on Woot. Links for both of these are down below. Thank you for supporting the Escape Pod cast. Does your guild want to tap into their full potential in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Yeah! For as low as $1 a month per guild member, your guild can unleash the power of the game in ways you never thought possible. Ooh. Track your arena movements, guild progression, and much, much more. Ah. Contact Shitty Bill and get one of his shitty bots on your server today. Just look for him on our Discord server and tag or message him for more information. The link for our server is below in the description. Shitty bots, don't let the name fool you. SWGOH.GG is your one-stop site for the raw data behind the game Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. From complete gear lists to intuitive stats behind all of your favorite hollow table heroes. SWGOH.GG has it all. With a .GG account, you can get a complete view of your own roster, see how you match up against other players, and even check out the history of your own Grand Arena Championship matches. You can also see what your opponent used on you to give you a better understanding of counters and team compositions to improve your gameplay. Did you know that they also have some great Patreon features as well? Ad-free browsing of their site, guild information, and manual information requests are included in their three levels of Patreon support. Check out the site for more details. That's swgoh.gg. Unleash your holotable potential today. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Uh, Welcome back. <laughs> Oh, it's oh time for boy. the big boys. It's time, time to put your boys. big toy pants on. We are yeah. rocking and rolling now. Major leagues in the Premier League. And oh my God, did some interesting things happen. Oh, some really, really interesting things happened. So let's just get into it. Okay, let's start off with our boy, E Grace Gamer. You know, folks, when you're looking for love out there in the Swaggo land and you can't seem to find anybody, why don't you try E Grace? EGrace.com for that lover, Swaggo partner you're looking for egrace.com all right egrace 
<sighs> two and one. He says the, the streak of two and one continues. On round one was an easy win. The opponent tried to win efficiency with no Galactic Legends set. Round two versus player from Call. Uh, he said he forgot to, he had some counters and caused him to lose on efficiency. Ship gave me a 10 point advantage. He lost by 17. And then round three, we faced Boss Hog from ANZGC. Both of us had Kyber and decided to chase title feats. He won in efficiency. So that's where it kind of went, you know. So yeah, two and one. So yeah. he's like, Yeah, I got Kyber. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, yeah, Kyber. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah. Oh, Van Sell. He's, mm. he's, taking my boy, he's I tell just, you. It, I, you know, you, you're a scoundrel. You're, you're the scum of the earth. And, and you're, you're just, oh, you know, you know what? We'll, we'll forgive you because you're new. Uh, you're new to the league. Um, so these wooden spoons and these one and twos that you're picking up, you know, we'll, we'll let that go. You've got two months to get yourself acclimated to the league. Get yourself into that competitive nature. Prepare yourself for season three. But unfortunately, this week, only a one and two. You know, Vin Sill, being the bounty hunter whisperer, when I have all things bounty hunter, I go to Vin Sill. You may want to pick up some light side tunes. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there in the world. All right. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Good. Oh, good old Maurice. Well, I'll do this one. Why not? Good old Maurice. What happened? Nev, what the hell happened here? No, I, I do not one. know. I, I do don't know. know what is going on here. Two and one. Everybody, let's let's do an investigation. Let's find out what in the this is this is unheard of. He's been on such a dominant winning streak, and he goes two and one. No report, no idea what's going on. Good old Maurice, he crapped the bed. I can't be friends with you anymore. I'm going to tell T Money you're going. You're in big trouble, sir. Yeah, but yeah. We're, one, we're telling T Money on you. Yeah, I'm going to tell T Money you're you're going down. She's 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 a mean Canadian. She'll get you. Uh, but eleven one for five v five, so you know, still pretty solid. All right, next is Dylar using Twi'lek tactics. <laughs> 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 He didn't get the 12 and 0 because he went two and one this week. Ew. It's just so close to perfect. Oh, well, bring on 3v3. I like that. It's like, oh, well, I didn't do it. <laughs> Let's just go 3v3. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. He says, round one was a lot. He says, I was extremely drunk for this one, drunk and belligerent enough that YouTube wouldn't let you post the video. Well, okay, that's not good. Um, <laughs> So uh, let's not let's not piss off YouTube there, uh, Dialer. Uh, round two is a win, um, and then round three, he says best score ever in almost all feats completed. That's pretty damn good. Um, so overall, two and one, eleven one on the season. Still a great season for Dialer using Twilight Tactics. It's Heinze, oh, the Aussie the Adonis. Let me do the song. Oh, you know my name is Heinze. And I like my preloading. I like preloading all day long. So come do preloading with me. All right. Talk about how Heinze preloaded. I know round one, uh, one round he didn't because I was on the stream. We made sure that didn't happen. But I'm sure now that there was some preloading on this. Th there had to have been some preloading because there was two losses in there. Yeah. So at least two preloads. We can, we can, we can, we can safely assume that there's two preloads. Wait. He, but two and one's still good. Two yeah. one's still good. It's still better that you know. It's still better than what he was doing in season one oh when he was boy. ending up with ones and twos all the time. Still a little bit better than that. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, right. oh, it's the sexy Buddha. I know, my man, Sir Loki, the lightsaber builder. Two and one. He says round one, 21 27 final score. Nothing too crazy. He says opponent had three galactic legends for offense. He ended up not full clearing him. So Loki's defense held strong. Round two. Uh, I was there for this one. Uh, his opponent full cleared me with a 28, 2082, but I full cleared him back with a 2097. Now, I'll remind you, this is uh, the stream that me and Loki did after the Heinze Drunk Fest with the grid on Friday. Uh, so we still pulled that off. So, and then round three, this was a loss, and this one really hurt. Loki had it. He opponent said a crazy defense. He got through. Now, his opponent full cleared him, had one little hiccup. Now, Loki full cleared all the way up to ships. He had lost beaters along the way because of the defense the guy had put. We just needed to win GR versus Malevolence. And I, this is the craziest RNG I have ever seen, Nev. He got a AOE 
all dodge from all the ships on the it was nuts dude <laughs> i've never seen rng like this this is a relic a kenobi too going in there and there were so many do- i didn't know what to do i was just like i don't know what to tell you man i mean i've seen some crazy dodge stuff but then when that y-wing went to do his aoe and all the ships dodge i was like damn yeah that's the, um, evil the the, the 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 dodge gods have been like really mischievous this week I mean, like nice. on a lot of people even with me even with me you know wow but two and one for loki so still pretty solid season for loki mm-hmm. okay kiwi two and one um you hate to see it you really really hate to see it because you have a perfect run sure you don't lose you get a couple of holds mm-hmm. and you clean your opponent's clock mm-hmm. but you just get edged out in one of those rounds by an efficiency battle and you know you as we've seen some people i mean the llama went 21 35 and lost you do not expect to lose when you score 21 35 no. unfortunately that happened to kiwi and that's why he's two and one this week all right oh goodness lazy turtle one and two nev see what had happened was um i guess he lived up to the name lazy turtle um well you so the thing is one and two again I mean, he ended okay, five and seven. Um, you know, uh, uh, honestly, you know, is is <laughs> is there any single person out there surprised at this point mm-hmm. with another one and two? Um, I mean, he mm-hmm. played great first match, uh, and he was hoping, hoping, really, really hoping, keeping everything crossed, um, that he could continue that. And next thing he knows, he's playing absolute garbage, and the next two matchups. And, you know, he ends his month below 500. First time ever. And it just really sucked for him. So mm. it sucks to be you, buddy. Yeah, that's rough. All right, moving on to the new. Chu doesn't have any stats. This is what the Nooch wrote. Now I want to get your response. He says, the Nooch entered GAC, but the Nooch was not in GAC. No GAC. Nooch is sad. Sound familiar, Nev? Yeah. Sounds very, very familiar. Let, familiar. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. You okay. Share your story with the new You guys can be. Yeah, we can be been, non. We we, we can be we can been, be GAC unjoined buddies. Right. So you guys can both say that you've both been nevved. Yeah, we've both been nevved. There you go. All right. Okay. So Ram Bam. Well, hmm. Ram Bam finally. Ram Bam. Yep, Rambam coming together. in with a, Rambam coming in with a three and zero. Oh. I mean, he, 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 I, I don't know if he had a touch week or if he had a tough week with a spelling mistake, uh, but he pulled through. Uh, at one rounds Probably one and two, r- round one rounds one and two with relative ease. Round three, he should have lost it. Really, I mean, he really should have lost it, but he got lucky. His opponent completely misplayed, uh, which gave him the win. Part skill, part luck, all wins. Three and O triple for Rambam. Dylar, he's coming for you. He's coming yeah. for you. He's probably past you. Warrior. Uh, oof. That's not pretty. That's not pretty. He's st- you, look, we're, we're gonna give we're giving we're gonna give Warrior. We've got to give him a little uh, bit of leeway because he's do, only but... been back in the game for eight months. Okay, he's only been back eight months. And oh, the last Has it been eight months? It's been eight months, yeah. He spent the first six months just going. Because uh, when he came back in, he spent six months getting all four GLs. That's true. He so did that. it took him six months to get the four GLs. And now, the last month, two months, he's been learning how to use them. So he doesn't know what they counter, what counters them. So, mm-hmm. yeah, he's he's mm-hmm. going through that learning process of, uh, you know, figuring out exactly what the GLs do. So that's why that's Warrior enough. is the other person to get a wooden spoon. <sighs> You hate to see it. It's your buddy, Mandy. Really good. I know. Yes, it's uh, the only man I know that wears his helmet even when he's sleeping. <laughs> Mandalore from the Mighty Maw. I mean, he's two and one. It's the same thing we talk about with Mandy every week. It's efficiency battle. The two wins were close. He was more efficient. The one he lost, he was still efficient. His opponent just was more efficient than him. Epic battles, big fights, all Galactic Legends, getting nasty. I mean, really nasty teams. So... Uh, at this point he's just like i'm gonna do my i'm gonna go efficiency you can try to hang with me and if you can great if you can't then hey you know i'm still a mandalore what do you got so there you go so the mandy mandy himself two and one still finishing strong on the, on the year so pretty good and there it is 
And good old Marie's still clinging to the top. If Dylar had just gone three and zero, I know he'd be the king of the castle right now. I mean, it, it the banner difference is double digits. It's, it's like ridiculous. double digits. Uh, so it's close. Yeah, it's very between close. Those two. It's really between those two. No one's really sniffing them right now. So no, I mean no Ram. I mean Ram Bam with the three and zero this week definitely helped. So uh, he's pulled back one. On, Ram has uh, got to prove to me he can be more consistent. Yeah, he's, he's got a, to. I'm I'm sorry, but he's got to be more consistent. He's got two months. Time. I mean, everybody, <clears throat> just look. Everybody's dropping. Everybody is dropping rounds. So if one of these guys in the top five can just do the next two months without losing anything. It's possible. It's possible. It is but... possible. You got to remember the top three go up to the Premier League. Yeah. So the so top, only the top three go up to the Premier League. So I mean, for, you know, Loki, Rambam, they're only really chasing after Kiowi. Yeah. That's, that's they're true. only really chasing after Kiowi. I mean, good old Maurice or Dylar are going to win. Uh, it's probably going to be one of those crown unless champions. something's extraordinarily unless something yeah crazy unless, happens. unless something extraordinarily bad happens. Yes. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, Loki and Rambam, they're chasing... They, they've just got to put their... You know, set their sights on Kiyoi. I know Rambam wants to beat Dylar, but, you know, there's three rounds between them. So, you know, Dylar needs to be going, like, heavy two and ones, and Rambam, mm -hmm. needs, Rambam needs to be going, like, three and oh. Three and oh. Every single week between now and the end of the season. So, hey, it could happen. We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. There we go. Okay, let's move on to... You right, know what? Let's prepare ourselves for battle. Here we go. Here we go. It's the Premier League. Arnold with another two and one. The Grand Admiral struggling. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know which round it was where he uh, did not get the full clear. But mm. obviously, that was the one that cost him because fifty nine forty nine. It's not the best banner score. Um, and when you're in the uh, uh, the bottom end of the table, you need the banners because if you tie with somebody, you're screwed. Two and one for the Grand Admiral this week. Yeah, the Empire kind of failed him a little bit. All right, moving on to cryptocurrency himself, Mr. Bitcoin. <laughs> Guess what he did? Okay, no 3 0. Oh. Good Lord. Guy just does not lose. But he says, I nearly lost. This is round one due to the game crashing. When I sent Negotiator Fleet in just 15 seconds after me saying, I hope the game doesn't crash. However, he was able to survive. Because we could, he could have had his first loss there on that. We've all been there. Mm -hmm. He won by eleven banners. Eleven banners. No, yeah, no, uh, yeah. But the, the, the guy's a machine. He, I know that big a buffer that he could comfortably win by double digits, even after. <laughs> just, it's just mad. Yeah, round two. He said, <laughs> "I spent the whole round paranoid over crashes." Well, that happens. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. Uh, but. Uh, the guy gave up when he saw that he scored at 21.32 and he fell on his grievous already. So he was, it was done after that. Mm -hmm. um, in round three, he was expecting him to set both Galactic Legends on defense. He didn't get them for offense and still didn't full clear his defense. So again, another victory for Bitcoin. He said, at the end of the season, it ranked 17 at the moment. Let's see if I can beat my previous best 25 while still being worse than Zerus Alt. So, there you go. Alt life matters. 3 no for Bit. All lives don't matter. Black Mamba with the two mm -hmm. and one. Uh, now, no, Black Mamba did actually face off against uh, uh, Klesser. I'm not going to tell you what the score is because you should go over to the Gambit and watch the replay because it was done. Uh, well, it wasn't live live. Um, Klesser did his end and then because Black Mamba was busy with work, uh, he did his later on. Uh, Klesso scored a, uh, I think he scored a 2099 or a 2098. So there were some losses in there. But uh, yeah, it was a very, very entertaining match. Very, very close. Go check it out. All right, my boy Ando. Rangers lead the way, my fellow Army Ranger. Here we go. He says 3 0, triple crown. No, just kidding. Just a triple M. Says round one, my opponent decided that he wanted to mess around with the Ando, the commando. But he didn't think about how he would have to shoot shot by Darth Revan while I one shot him. 21-14 to 2076. Glad I made him her own. Round two said with a 620k lifetime, decided to step in the ring with the great one. He, he wanted to in quotes say that's me. Then three tapped my CLS and two tapped my GG. I one tapped his board 21-25 to 2052. And then round three, 
660k lifetime representing the Italia Fury decided to switch up his defense on me and for and and for me only. He Ando says, Not today, my friend. Two tapped his GG, but he too tapped my gas. He won by two banners 2105 to 2103. Mm. He says he's looking forward to the offseason, getting ready for threes. Endo, the king of D with his usual oh, triple. Fun. The oh, usual yeah. triple, triple whammy for Endel. Round one was a nice warm up as uh, he full cleared and held his opponent to only three territories. Round two, another rare full clear from Endel's opponent, who lost by only 40 banners. I say only because, <laughs> well, it's Endel. You know, that's close. Anybody else would be like, 40 banners, that's massive. That's close if you're going up against Endel. Uh, round three, a double handicap match as the competitors both agreed to not use their GLs in the match. Mm. Endel still won and he still held off the clearance. So maybe that opponent shouldn't have agreed to that and they should have tried mm. it. But we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. All right, moving on to the great ninja of fruitiness, Mr. Mike. Uh, you know, if you, if you need a hit job done and you want it done by fruit, this is your guy who continues his dominance. 3 you know, 11 and 1 uh, in 5v5, 23 and 1 overall. Says that one loss is going to haunt me from earlier this month. I know it. The two weeks after it, and I've been a, have been a breeze. So this week, I only faced players, the four Galactic Legends to my three. They all held a bunch of offense and were significantly less efficient with their banners. No real fights this week, in my humble opinion. I added the humble. Uh, the news of the week is, I will have Ray by next GAC launch. Mm. Finally, I don't have to be down a galactic legend. So he's moving up in the world. So Mike, representing hard. Great job, 3-0. On to Indigo. 2-1. Uh, yeah. um, round one was an uneventful loss down to mm, basically a more efficient opponent. Uh, round two was the big win as he also picked up his Kaiba. Very important. Uh, round three was particularly fun as he got to, to whoop a former guildmate. <laughs> and the win stopped his former guildmate from getting Kaiba. That's just... Might have been a little bit of bad blood between uh, uh, Indigo and his former guildmate there. Sure. But uh, yeah, two and one for Indigo. Play with fire, you're going to get burned. All right, moving on. This one... Poor Solo. Solo, one and two. Uh, but he has a reason. There was a medical emergency in my family two weeks ago, which required me helping to take care of this person. I've been more distracted and just haven't been able to play, plan well this season. And it's showing. One and two, Solo's dealing with real life stuff. And you can tell because this is not the Solo we're used to seeing. Solo is, you know, when Solo is not dealing with this kind of real life stuff, he is a monster. So hopefully... Solo, you know, hearts go out to you. Hope everything's okay. Hope everything gets settles down and you can get back to kicking ass in GSC like we're used to. Ranger J hey. 1999 went three and oh, won did. everything, only lost three. So, let, what happened then, Ranger? Well, it's called the, the nest bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went in there twice against Ness where it's just like you got the team you're ready to rock and roll and I got the loop twice different rounds got the loop and I just hated it you know one was against a C team they put Ness in there just to make things crazy I mean I just destroyed the team but then I went for the kill on Ness didn't happen it's just the same thing you get that stupid Ness I hate I hate it I hate that mechanic it is so dumb you know, that you just, you can't do anything, right? You're just dominating, but you're going to get the loss because of a, of ugh, nonsense. So I didn't get the triple crown. I'll take the triple whammy. I didn't have any problems. I got full clears on all everything, but man, just, you wonder where my banners go, Nev. That's, that's why. Yeah, stupid that's crap why. Like that. Stupid, stupid crap like that. Last but not least, finishes off. Yeah, Zareth going through, you know, 12 and 0, 24 and 0. There's just all, all O's everywhere. Uh, first guy didn't really, uh, yeah, uh, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't, he got smoked. Round mm -hmm. two, this was a close one. Um, they both one shot each other. Zareth somehow won by seven because I'm an efficient beast and I'm a lucky man. Yes, indeed. 
Round three got really hairy for us as I failed two attacks this time. GG versus JML was going well, but Jolie decided to revive everyone. <laughs> and then he said, then, he, then his opponent tried to, to clear me and nearly succeeded with my ships, bailed me out for the second time in two matches, and he couldn't clear me. He probably deserved it because he's a guy who doesn't capitalize his own name. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, he wanted to point this out, Nev, besides his 3-0 dominance. He says, uh, Alt had a good season. Uh, he'll fall out of the top 10 because I've forgotten arena feet, but he's currently sitting in the number one spot in Division 1, just on that Alt Lives Matter. Alt Lives hashtag, don't matter. Hashtag Alt Lives don't matter. And he says, hashtag still not as cool as Bitcoin. <laughs> okay, let's look at the table. Bitcoin and Zareth still kings of the roost. Zareth definitely lagging in uh, banners, but the, uh, yeah, the... Uh, the just just jumping around all over the place here mm -hmm. end all fruit ninja mike coming up just behind them and and, and you ranger right there in the middle of the field yeah right, right there, there in the middle of the field but what's now interesting is the relegation battle because uh <laughs> i mean obviously you know indigo is not looking too hot and it's definitely looking like a dead cert to go down but arnold ando black mamba and solo one round, one round separates those four, and two of those are getting relegated to the major leagues at the end of the season. Two of so, them are. Oh wow! So uh, yeah, so be three, three down into the major leagues, and then three up, and it's yeah, it, it is all to play for in the, uh, the, the. I think the relegation battles probably are more exciting than the uh, the race for the top because it's either going to be Bitcoin or it's going to be Zareth. It's it's one of those two. If so, they don't lose, I mean, I'm going to give it everything I got, Nev. <laughs> but yeah. they just don't lose, man. And I've had two losses and fives that were just crazy losses. That was just like, wow, it just took me by surprise. So, but you mm -hmm. can't have that kind of stuff happen. You know, well, it's just, sometimes it's better be lucky than good. Going to have to, going to have to wait and see. So. We've got the dreaded 3v3s coming back. So, Not for uh, me. You know, threes are really good. I mean, I haven't lost the threes in a while. So, I mean, I actually need better than threes and fives, but so do those guys. So it's like, Christ, I got to have something, some mana from heaven drop if I can even get close to those guys again. So, you're, yeah, you're just gonna you know, have to. You're just gonna have to get good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right, I'm 22 and two. I gotta get better. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, it's interesting. I think solo out of those guys in the you know in that lower end, if he gets if everything settles down for him, I think solo is gonna rise up yeah. quickly. He'll start doing. I, I think I, 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 I'm in, I'm inclined to agree with you there. Solo's probably gonna rise back up again, uh, and it is yeah, gonna I, be between I, Black Mamba, Ando, Arnold, and uh, Indigo. But uh, yeah. yeah, just well, we'll see what happens because yeah. if solo stuff's still interfering with his what he's doing, then maybe that's not going to happen. And uh, maybe it's just a rough call for solo. But if, I think if things settle down, all things equal, I think solo will, will pull ahead. Absolutely. Right. OK, that's the end of the stat side of the show. It's time for oh, the, goody, uh, my the clip. Favorite. It's time for the clip reel. So uh, uh, we'll be right back after this. Thank you, Neil. Stay tuned. This is fun, guys. I, let me just say this: I love this adversity. I love, I love this challenge. Like this season, I've had some tough opponents, but a lot of times the path has seemed clear. Today, I don't feel like the path is clear at all. Like we're we're gonna have to muddle through it. It's going to be awesome. In fact, it is awesome. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do this. Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's take out talent. Hopefully we can kill a couple characters, not just one. Here we go. Continue to eat it, continue to eat it. Eat some of that. Eat some of this. You can have some too. Oh. We got L3 down. That's always, <laughs> I always anticipate way more, but it's <laughs> just not gonna happen. This is gonna be an interesting one. 
Take one those first. Give up. This will get you a lot of courage, though. Yeah, 22 yeah. courage. Actually, aim it. Oh, no, wait. Um, Look at that GG. Yeah, GG. Oh, special. Yeah. Oh, oh, special. Man, take it all, Yeah, just just special. Oh, <laughs> 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 Perfect. Wham, baby. Bang. Yeah, bring it and win it, dude. <laughs> Are we doing this? Hang in there, Jam and Luke. Hang in there. Hang in there! <laughs> just stay with just a little longer! Just a little longer! Get out of here, our trooper, you butthead! Yeah! Okay, she didn't kill everybody. Okay. Turn meter pass over the to turn meter to pass the turn meter to Vader. Force crush. Get a shock. Shock. Oh, shit. Yeah, you gotta call him out. Hopefully we can get it. Yeah! Yeah! Kill that bitch without a GL! Yeah! Yeah! Is that 61? I want to kill Sid's trooper over there so he doesn't get damage on me. <laughs> not enough. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, maybe not. Let's go ahead and kill you. And we are faster. Almost fast enough. Please lap him. Please lap him. Got him! Yes! Yes! Gear 12 Night Sisters in your face. Woo! 46. 46. Oh, okay. Okay. We should be able to get down Grievous before he... Yeah. Yeah, we got this. Well, we'll just go ahead and proc it. Did he... Do did, my did that B1 dodge it? <laughs> did he dodge the grenade? Can't do that. They're like the least dodgiest thing in the world. Those B1 droids can like not move basically. And we're back. Oh, I do love those. Those, those clip reels are just oh, so much fun. Awesome. Andy Beads. Uh, everybody puts so much effort into uh, making sure that those uh, 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 those those clip reels are fun and entertaining, and they yeah, are. They, they are. That there's just some really really gold stuff in there. <laughs> Look on Andy's there's just face. some solid gold stuff in there. It's uh, uh, it, it's always uh, it's always fun to see those at the end of the show. Without I like seeing uh, you there. I thought you were gonna. I, thought, I was thinking you were gonna lose there. I was like, uh oh, this yeah. is the job one here. I was like, wait a minute, didn't like, come on, Luke, please, 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 Luke, I need just please, please, because I mean, I, I got in that match, and specifically in that match, I, I got GK out like really quick, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, the, the rest of this is gonna be nice and easy, and then Anakin did his AOE and reduced me to Luke and one other, and I'm like, oh, for God's sakes. It's going to be such a great, and then that's it, you know, it, it went all the way down to the wire, but uh, yes, hats off to uh, um, Commander Beads, the uh, the master procrastinator, 
So, uh, yeah, anyway, just want to say, oh, Ranger, you've just subbed. Uh, Thank you for the sub. Um, we also were raided by Fort Mort earlier Mart. on. Fort Fort Mart earlier on. And uh, uh, those are the only things knowledge, as far as I'm aware, this week. But uh, it's been a great week. And uh, next week, it's going to be the break. So no show next week. But we'll be back uh, the following Tuesday um, to start the second half of wow. our season. It's going to be a lot more interesting. We're going to have an extra league. We're going to have an extra Division One league. Because there are going to be at least two, maybe three more promotions from Division 2 into Division 1. We already know Cake Gaming's coming. It's probably yep. going to be Geek Girl and one other. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be breaking that down, splitting that up. And obviously then we need to take out whatever. And we need to take out Scorch. So we're going to do a little bit of rejigging. Not massive amount of rejigging. But we need to incorporate those Div 2 people into uh, into Div 1. But, uh, um, uh, oh, um, uh, uh, Thane just cheered. Hey, hey, thank you for the cheer. My GSC Whisperer. Very GSC good. Whisperer. But uh, yes, uh, uh, Ranger, anything to add before you tell me to push a certain button? Uh, make sure you can, when you can, get your vaccination, keep your social distancing going, wash your hands, wash your face, wear your mask, be safe out there, folks. We'll keep you entertained either here or on my channel, wherever you need to go. Just be mm -hmm. safe. We're not through COVID yet. We're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. And with that... Why don't you push those buttons now? You got it, mate. Ta-ta for now, folks.